The Cartoon Network would like to invite you to Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater. It's the most amazing theater you've ever seen. The doors will open Sunday night after the debut of this week's world premiere tune. Mr. Spem shows some of the greatest tune movies ever made, and this week is no exception. Mr. Spem will be showing Rockin' with Judy Jetson. Join the galaxy's best-known teenager as he tries to save the universe and her idol, Sky Rocker. It's Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater, Sunday at 7 p.m. on the greatest place for cartoons, the Cartoon Network. Hey, check out the buzz on Dexter's Laboratory. I like the cartoon because it's about a scientist that likes science. It was really cool. The music was awesome. The characters were cool. I liked the little girl. Her voice was great. The colors were great. The animation was great. It was funny and crazy. I liked the cartoon because I thought it was funny and cute. Thank you for letting me call in. I didn't like the cartoon because it was dumb. It was so <laughs> stupid. We love the cartoon. It was really, really funny. My eight-year-old son sit here and laughed the whole time it was on. It was really cute. It was child-oriented, and we want more. It was very entertaining. And to me, it was, it was as good as some of the old Warner Brothers cartoons. It was funny. I liked it. Thank you. Reminds me of home. It's great. Tune in for Dexter's Lab this week, and only this week. Then tune in Sunday night at 7 for our brand new world premiere tune on the best place for new tunes, the Cartoon Network. These are the Cartoon Network's very own Two Stupid Dogs. We love them. That's why we're looking for more. Announcing the Cartoon Network's Two Stupid Challenge, our hunt for the stupidest dogs in the world. See this dog? College degree. Speaks fluent Chinese. And we don't want them. See this dog? We love them. So enter your stupid dog in the Two Stupid Challenge. All you need to compete is a videotape, photo, or letter showing your dog acting stupid, looking stupid, or just being stupid. Include your dog's name and your name and phone number with your entry and mail by March 24th to Two Stupid Challenge, the Cartoon Network, P.O. Box 7500, Atlanta, Georgia, 30357. Our own two stupid dogs who really know stupid will pick the winners who will appear on the Cartoon Network in April. Plus, one grand prize winner gets a super duper weenie buffet sent directly to his or her house. We know it's a stupid contest, but what did you expect from the home of two stupid dogs? Get up in the morning, pull on my suit and cape, and go to work. Chasing bad guys is such a rush. Zap! Boom! Take that, drag! Uh-oh. You got good days and bad. The Council of Doom nearly had me once. Wrapped me in steel. Dropped me right into the molten core of a planet. You just don't get that in an office job. And how about the company car, huh? The Phantom Cruiser. Yeah! Pull up to a bus stop and everyone wants a ride. Jan and Jace, nice kids, but just can't stay out of trouble. Guys, use the invisible belt. Come on. Sure, it's a dangerous job, but I get every third weekend off. Space Ghost. Hey, Metallus. I know where you are. I've been to your house. I've worn your flares. On the Cartoon Network. I'm coming to get you. The Cartoon Network would like to announce the opening of Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater. It's the most amazing theater you've ever seen, and it's only on the Cartoon Network. The doors open every Sunday night after the debut of that week's world premiere tune. Mr. Spem will be showing some of the greatest tune movies ever made, and he's saving you a seat. But who is this Mr. Spem anyway? And why is he showing us all of these great movies? Well, that's a secret. You'll just have to tune in to see if you can find out for yourself. It's Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater, Sunday at 7 p.m. on the greatest place for cartoons, the Cartoon Network. Are you ready for the next world premiere tune? Have you marked off your calendar for Sunday night? Have you set your VCR and told everyone that a brand new star is about to be born? The curtain goes up on Yucky Duck, Sunday night at 7 on the Cartoon Network. Look deep into the crystal ball and you will see the future. At exactly 8 tonight, you will experience this. It's the new world premiere tune on the Cartoon Network. Your future looks very bright. Greetings! This week on Space Ghost Coast to Coast, Bobcat Goldthwait reveals his tender side. You think I'm pretty? And the Ramones introduce their newest member. I'm Zorak Ramon. Tonight at midnight on the Cartoon Network. Look deep into the crystal ball and you will see the future. At exactly nine tonight, you will experience this. 
It's the new world premiere tune on the Cartoon Network. Your future looks very bright. We're here at the Cartoon Network with Scooby-Doo talking about his new show. It's scary. There's Rose and Robins and Scooby Slice. Hmm. Ghosts and Robbers and Tailored Slack sounds fascinating. Don't miss Scooby-Doo tonight at 7 on the home of Scooby-Doo. The Cartoon Network. Roll! The Powerpuff Girls sure are beefy. I'd like to see Barney and Fred do that. Okay. Barney and Fred who? Junior. See the new tune that everybody's talking about. World premiere tunes. With a new tune star every Sunday night at 7. Only on the Cartoon Network. Wow. Isn't that great, Dad? Yeah, yeah. I'm thrilled. Are you ready for the next world premiere tune? Have you marked off your calendar for Sunday night? Have you set your VCR and told everyone that a brand new tune star is about to be born? The curtain goes up on the Powerpuff Girls, starring in Meet Fuzzy Lumpkins, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup are out to save the world from a gun so powerful it can turn everything into meat. Not me! It's another brand new world Woo! premiere tune, Sunday night at 7 on the Cartoon Network. The Cartoon Network would like to invite you to Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater. It's the most amazing theater you've ever seen. The doors will open Sunday night after the debut of this week's world premiere tune. Mr. Spem shows some of the greatest tune movies ever made, and this week is no exception. Mr. Spem will be showing Scooby and the Reluctant Werewolf. See Shaggy and Scooby race toward danger as they battle Dracula and his werewolf. Yikes! It's Mr. Spem's Cartoon Theater, Sunday at 7 p.m. on the greatest place for cartoons, the Cartoon Network. Benny, turn on the TV. Townsville. Hey, it's one of those world premiere tunes. I'm Johnny Bravo, the one-man army. Ooh, that Johnny Bravo is dreamy. He's one of the new tunes that everybody's talking about. World premiere tunes with a new tune star every week. Hey, how about that, Fred? See world premiere tunes every Sunday night at 7, only on the Cartoon Network. Sure looks good, huh, Fred? World Premiere Tunes just might be the biggest news in cartoon history. So big that the Cartoon Network wants to give you this big, big TV to watch them on. You want to win? you got to watch World Premiere Tunes every Sunday night at 7 on the best place for big new tunes, the Cartoon Network. Right now, people all over the world, in 49 countries, on three continents, are watching a squid in a sailor's cap. The Cartoon Network. Welcome to our world. Keep watching. Don't move. Don't blink. Because if you do, you might miss Yucky Duck. Later! Tonight at 7 p.m. and only this week on the Cartoon Network. Hey, we said no blinking. <laughs> Tonight on Toon Heads, evil villains run amok in this week's Toon Heads. Looks like a job for Superman. Be a Toon Head. Tonight at midnight, only on the Cartoon Network. Are you ready for the next world premiere tune? Have you marked off your calendar for Sunday night? Have you set your VCR and told everyone that a brand new star is about to be born? The curtain goes up on the Powerpuff Girls, Sunday night at 7 on the Cartoon Network. Benny, turn on the TV. Townsville. Hey, it's one of those world premiere tunes. I'm Johnny Bravo, the one-man army. That Johnny Bravo is dreamy. He's one of the new tunes that everybody's talking about. World premiere tunes with a new tune star every week. Hey, how about that, Fred? See world premiere tunes every Sunday night at 7, only on the Cartoon Network. Sure looks good, huh, Fred? Every weekend on the Cartoon Network, you can hang out in Bedrock, curl into outer space, swim through Snorkland, fight against crime, solve a mystery, drop a few boulders, battle evil villains, travel to the future, and then get ready for the next weekend to do it all again. This weekend and every weekend, only on the Cartoon Network. The Cartoon Network has many stars, but only one sun, a giant celestial body that is in some way linked to every tune alive, and that sun is named Velma. Every tune, everywhere, has a connection to the Cartoon Network's bespectacled super sleuth. Like Brainy Smurf, who's terrorized by Azrael, whose litter mates with Sebastian, who tours with the Pussycats, who are assisted by Alan, who shares clothes with Freddy, who solves mysteries with Velma. Then there's Betty, 
who takes step aerobics with Judy, who shares a house with Astro, who goes to speech therapy with Scooby, who solves mysteries with Velma. Space Ghost battles Zorak, who did a guest stint on Jabberjaw, where he was captured by a guy who looks remarkably like Shaggy, who solves mysteries with Velma. It's easy to trace a path to Velma, that gaseous star at the center of the Cartoon Network universe. What's your connection? Hey, little Joe, spring break's coming up. You know what that means, don't you? You mean it, Hoss? Yep. Road trip! The Cartoon Network presents Spring Break 95, six hours of surf and sand teams hosted by Hoss and Little Joe. Join us on a road trip to Hamtona to party with Mangilla, Fred, and some of the hottest guys and girls on the beach. So start packing for Spring Break 95, starting Saturday at noon on the best place for cartoons and sunburn, the, the Cartoon, Cartoon Network. Network. 